sturdy as. This should have been a lot simpler. Now there's a longer version of this over on Deadset Digital, but let's talk about the whole process of going from where I was and using a whole bunch of stuff to the end product. And we will also go through some of the hassles and some of the problems I came across and how I overcome them. Some of them by accident, but we got there in the end. So, like many of my animated short films, I always start with Reillusions Character Creator 3 because I can whip up a character super fast. From here, what I'll do is I'll export this character straight into Reillusions iClone 7 and then get the Perception Neurons Access Studio, directly map it into iClone 7 so I can put on the motion capture suit and with a live feed, I can see what the character looks like. I also connected the facial motion capture that's available within iClone 7 to the character as well and voila, Really good performance straight off the bat. Now there's a link in the description if you want to pick that up. From here, we get it into Blender. So there's pretty much two add-ons that I used here. The first one is the Polygon, uh, blah, 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 Polygon Q. I used the Traffic Q full <laughs> library. So I quickly spawned an asset, the wonderful classic car Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, throw that in and there we go. We've got our car. And I mean, look at it. It's actually pretty, decent quality as well. So I'm more than happy with this add-on. There is a link in the description for it. Now I want to break this car and this is kind of like where I had dramas. I used RBD Lab just because it's got a whole bunch of presets that I can just use really quickly. However, I was coming across dramas where for instance, I would select the car. Let's just go straight to Fracture. And you can see here that the Fracture didn't actually work properly. Now there's various reasons why this didn't work. Um, so if I were to start deleting these cubes, you can kind of see that the car is missing. So the first thing I did is I chopped this car up left, right, and center. For instance, let's go tab into edit mode. We can see that this is stinking dense. So first I cut it back down using the decimate modifier, unsubdivide by two, and it dropped by 300,000 faces. Control A to apply. Now the apply wasn't working on that. So I actually had to come up into object relations, single user, object data and materials. And now I could actually apply this modifier. So if we had a look at the mesh now, there we go. So I'm going to start off control LP, just separate by selection, just this fender here. And now if I were to fracture this, we'd probably still have an issue, which is fine. Control Z, what we actually need to do is actually give it a little bit of thickness. So I go into the solidify modifier, just give it, you know, 0.01. And now if we go fracture, we can see that this is actually working a lot better. We don't have those black boxes anymore, but we still got missing pieces. So what I ended up doing is see how we've got this edge in here. I actually had to chop that up. So I actually came in and kind of put an edge loop through there. V to rip, control LP, separate by selection. And now hopefully that was enough to select this, go fracture. And you can see that we're already now got a bit of better of a result. Now we can see that there's another lip around there, which we would have to fracture as well. But this is what I actually did going around the whole car, fracturing it individually. Now, the good thing about RBD Labs, it saved a lot of issues. However, if I really wanted to, which I probably will in the future, I can start adding extra debris coming out, extra dust, smoke even out of the simulation. But with this one, I didn't really need to do it because I was going just for the effect of the car crumpling apart. So as we can see here, I end up getting the car to shatter into pieces. However, this did not go smoothly. What was actually happen What was actually happening that took me about two days to try and work out and fix was this. Did you see it? It just freaking disappears. If we kind of come back and we have a look, you can see that it just goes sky high. What the freaking heck? So the way I actually solved this was by actually trying to change the way of the film. So if you actually watch the film, you'll see that the it's got an interesting ending. However, what I actually tried to do is I tried to spawn another vehicle. I actually went with another contemporary car um, with the Audi R8, of course. And so what I did is I quickly just joined the tires to the car, control J, move the car up, give the car a little bit of physics. Thank you very much. And then using RBD Lab to delete all the bakes. I've just find for some reason that this was working really well here. Let's rebake. And then this is what we had. What the heck? Simple problem. This, the backdrop. The shape of the collision was a convex hull. If I change it to a mesh 
and then delete all bakes and bake all dynamics. So yeah, that took me two days to work out. So for this lighting setup, background, studio, lighting, McLighting lighting, I used the Vera lighting add-on just because it's quick. Didn't have to fuddle, fiddle, fuddle, play around. This texture here was just a quick Google search. It worked really well. I initially had white. However, the problem was is that the shirt matched the background. Even here, the hands are still a little bit matching, but I did okay. The other thing as well here is this is two different shots where just before the car explodes, you can see that there's no cracks in the windshield, but if you kind of slip through, I then replace the car with the fractured car. So you can't really see it. So that was a bit of a quick trick. Um, happens in the flash of a moment. So it also helped with rendering. Coming back to here, I had did have two different cameras where I rendered both shots the whole way through. And that way I knew that the audio would be syncing up to the end here. And so that's how I was just able to quickly replace it. And then we get this result of this explosion. Now, if you wanna see the whole film, click on the link in the description. Most of the add-ons that I've used in here, there are links in the description as well. And if you wanna support the channel, it really helps me out. Let me know if you enjoyed these breakdowns as well. I'm more than happy to continue doing these as well. Jump over to Deadset Digital to watch the rest. And then voila, the piece of resistance. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that's how I went through creating the process of shattered dreams. One day, I'll own a Volkswagen Beetle. I don't know how, I don't know when, but one day I will.